Let's make carnivore topping for our pizza base. Okay, so today we're going to be creating a cream top with bacon, ham, as well as some mince. Now, before we get started, I just want to let you know that here at Carnival Capers, we like to give you recipes, tips, and tricks, as well as just general discussions about Carnival. Now, if that sounds interesting to you, have it smash the like button, as well as subscribe, and also hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we upload more videos. All right, guys, let's go check out how to do this. Okay, now the ingredients we have today is we have some onion powder, as well as garlic powder, and we're also going to be using some Italian herbs and spices, and we're going to be adding some Parmesan cheese, or as you say in America, Parmesan cheese, and we have some mozzarella cheese as well. So but we also have some cream cheese that we have added into this little saucepan. So let's get started. I'm going to just melt down this cream cheese first, and I'm also going to be adding some heavy thickened whipping cream straight into that. So let's just turn that on and get that started. I'll put this on high to start melting it, but then I'll turn it down. Oh, that's on at 200 degrees. So I'll just quickly whip this up and then we will get that melted down. Once that's melted down just a little bit, I'll begin to add the cream and then I'll turn it down so I can then start adding the other cheeses. I'll turn that down now, actually it's a bit hot. There we go. So yeah, once that begins to melt, we can then begin to add the other cream and start melting this completely and start adding the other cheeses and the spices. Okay, well while I'm waiting for that to happen, I'm just going to add a bit of cream to that. Oops. There we go, I won't turn that down even more. Turn it down about 80 so it's not too hot. Let's not burn the cream. Put that up a little bit higher. Now the secret here is to put about as much cream almost to the top of the of the actual cream cheese. I don't know if you can see that. Yes, you can. It's almost to the top of the cream cheese, and that's the secret there. Just put that there. I didn't measure it. I just poured it into about that level. Now, I'm using currently four ounces or about a hundred and something grams of this, which is about half a block of cream cheese, of Philadelphia cream cheese. This is not Philadelphia cream cheese. It is the home brand equivalent, which luckily doesn't have any fillers. So I'll turn that up to 120 just to get it started, to get it a bit faster. And then after that, we'll be right back once this is melted down. Okay, well that's melted through. And as you can see, it's getting a little bit thicker, which is great. Now what I also need to do is start adding other things like the Parmesan cheese and the onion powder as well as the mozzarella cheese. We'll add the mozzarella cheese at the end because the Parmesan cheese will probably take a little bit longer. So grab a handful of Parmesan, oh that's mozzarella actually, whoops, daisy. Grab the wrong one. Let me grab, put that back. Stop. Almost made a mistake. Okay, so grab the Parmesan cheese. That's better. Or well, parmesan cheese as we say here in Australia. Add that to it. In fact, you can add as much as you like to it. I'm going to add quite a bit. I'm not even measuring it. Just do it by, just do it by look and feel. Because you want this to thicken up. And it's going to be thickening up not by using anything like... Um, you're not going to be using anything like flowers or anything like this to thicken it up. What you are going to be using, on the other hand, is cheeses. And that's what's going to be doing all the thickening for you. This is looking a bit thicker now, which is great. You want to make sure it becomes nice and creamy. So there's still a few bits of the undissolved cream cheese in this. So I'm just going to add a little bit more. I've turned this down to about 80, by the way. That's why you barely see it bubbling. We'll turn it up to about 120 just for a second to help it melt it through a bit faster. I'm going to add a little bit more cheese to that as well. A bit more parmesan and then maybe a little bit more. Then start adding a bit of mozzarella. Then I'll start adding some of the herbs and spices to it. So we can't leave this for too long because we don't want this burning on the base. We need to be constantly stirring this, otherwise it'll burn on the base of the pan and we don't want that. Alright. Now 
that's that done. Now, we're going to add a little bit of mozzarella after that. I'm going to actually add some spices now. So here's the garlic. I'm just going to add a generous amount of garlic to that. Generous amount of onion and powder as well. I'm not measuring it. That's about a teaspoon, maybe a teaspoon and a half for that amount of liquid. That's probably about a teaspoon of onion and about roughly a teaspoon or two of this about the Italian herbs and spices. Probably about a teaspoonful actually. Give it a look at that. Oh, that smells lovely. Now I'm going to add a little bit of mozzarella for the Italiano taste. All right, so let's get some mozzarella cheese now and throw that in there just to thicken it up. There we are. Let's now start stirring this back again and let this all melt through. And once this is all melted through, we can take it off the heat and it'll be ready to go. The good thing is that there's no flour that has to be cooked, so all you're really doing is taking it to where it melts through. And once it's all melted through, it is then ready to start applying to your pizza base. Okay, so have a look at that. That's really quite thick now. I don't know if you can see it there. That's quite a thick little, quite a, quick, quite a thick sauce now. And the best part about it is a bit runny, which is nice because it's got the, it's got the it's got the mozzarella cheese in it. There's a few chunks of unmelted, few chunks of unmelted um, cream cheese in it still, but that's okay. We'll just keep going here. Have a few more things melt through. Once it's melted through, we'll be right to start adding it. I might even add a little bit more cheese. Might add a little bit more parmesan to it, just to thicken it up a little bit more. There's not that much parmesan left, I don't think. There you go. Add that last little bit there. Then I'll also add a little bit of the mozzarella, just to thicken it up even more. Now I've got this down really low so that it doesn't burn the base. Now right, so let's just go here, a little bit more, and I think that will probably be enough cheese in there. It's very, very cheesy. There we are. That's really thick now, so that's exactly what you want. You don't want to have something which is going to be too liquidy. You want it to be fairly thick. So that is really good. There we go. That's more like the sort of sauce I want. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's dripping off doing that. That is exactly what I want to see. Yeah, that's precisely what I want. Right, I'm going to turn this off now. I'll clean the top up in a second. Okay, so what I'm going to be applying after I apply some of this is I'm going to be adding the, the topping. And of course, I'm going to be adding in a cheese level as well. I'm going to be putting some cheese down, putting some of the topping on, putting another some of the meat on there. So I've got some minced meat with liver and and bacon mixed through there. I have a video up there in the top corner there if you want to see that. I also have some ham and also extra bacon as well. So I'm just going to add a little bit of cheese on the base just to help it out, and then we're going to. Actually, I'm going to add the cheese. I'm going to add the sauce first, then we can add the cheese and the rest and everything else. So let's pour that in as it's still hot. I'll try not to touch it with my hands because that will burn. We'll spread that around and begins the process of making this pizza. Alrighty. Now this is not going to be pretty because I'm not a professional chef, as I say in all my cooking videos. So make people aware that I'm not a professional chef, ergo, this is not necessarily going to look like the best looking pizza in the world. But I'm a dad and a husband and I work part time at a hardware store and I basically just do this to share my passion for the carnival diet. I'm going to try and take it all the way to the edge if I can. I don't want this overflowing or anything like that, but take it as close to the edge as I can. Now, of course, you can do this any way you like. If you have a particular technique and how you like to make pizzas, then go ahead and do that. Now, I'm just going to add a bit of meat to this and add that all the way around. Now, I am really generous with my meat as a general rule. This is just a quick topping. I mean, 
I'm usually a lot more generous than this when it comes to the meat. Now, as I said, I do have the carnivore top, the, the base, how to, how to make the carnivore base. And I will, I have posted the card up above for you to look at that, for you to watch it if you didn't see it already. We'll just add this to here. There we go. I do like to have quite a lot of topping on my pizzas. It's almost to the point of being ridiculous in some ways. Now we'll add some of the pizza, add some of this as well. We, uh, often my wife and I, when we used to make pizzas pre carnival days, I would make pizzas that were mountainous high pizzas. And it was scary to look at, really. It was quite mountainous. It was, it was really quite high. And people would say, oh, too much topping. No, love it. We always loved our really huge amounts of topping on our pizzas. Okay, so I'm going to top this off with a bit of cheese. And then we'll just pop that straight into the oven. I might use a bit more cheese. I've got a bit more mozzarella. So we'll add a bit more mozzarella to this. Because that is not enough. Now, I know in a previous video, I said that I have histamine issues and I probably shouldn't use aged cheese. But I love Parmesan cheese, so I couldn't resist. So let me just go get cut this up and we'll just let me just add a bit more Parmesan cheese. And we'll be right back. Okay, so I like topping this up quite a lot with cheese. I mean, you've got to love cheese on in pizzas, right? And we just fill it up to the bed. Oh, look at that. That is so gorgeous. Now, a lot of people are going to go, oh, wow, way too full. Nah, that's exactly how I like it. Okay, so I'm just going to pop this in the oven. And this should be right to go for about between 6 to 10 minutes. We'll have a look and see what it's like. So I'll just time it now and we'll put it, I'll put it straight in. Okay, we'll just put it straight into the oven. And I'll leave it there for about approximately 10 minutes. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, now that's been in there for nearly 20 minutes. So I think that's probably right to come out now. So I'll just grab that. I'll have a quick show you what it looks like. And I'll pop it down here and you can have probably a better look at it in just a second. Okay, so I'm just gonna let that cool down for a couple of minutes while I let it, so that I can pull it out of here safely without burning myself too much. I'll actually see if I can grab it by the paper and not hurt myself in the process. Okay, I'm going to wait for the, this to cool down. I don't really want to hurt myself. All right, well, be back in a minute. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to just try and spin this around. It's probably still a bit too hot for, to touch, so I'll just turn it around. And then... I want to turn around that way because I want to be able to get pick up the thickest part of the paper, which is right there. I'm going to grab that, pop this in here, then pull this. There we go. Lift that up. Hopefully, I can balance that and pop this straight onto a, another tray. I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm just going to peel this off the base of this. And hopefully that'll come off really nicely. I had it off there earlier. So hopefully it'll come off this paper. Now that it's got a bit of cheese on it, it might be a little harder to take off. So we'll see how we go. I'm going to try and remove this from the paper and we'll see what this is going to look like once we've done this. Then I will cut it open and try it out and see what it tastes like. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. That is how it looks. How good is that? Okay, now... Let's cut this and try a piece. Oh, that cut so that cut through beautifully. It was so easy to cut through that. Now, as I said, this may not look pretty, but it is my homemade pizza, and it's one hundred percent carnival. Now, I'm just gonna. Have a look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Okay. I am now going to try a piece and see what it's like. Okay, let's now give it a little bit of this a try and see what I think of it. 
see if it tastes any good. Whoops, a daisy. That's a bit hot. Still, I'll just maybe cut some of that cheese away, make it a bit easier to pick up. There you go. The mozzarella cheese is very stretchy right now. There we go. Okay, it may not be huge because remembering, I am using a much smaller container what you'd, than what you'd normally have. So there we have it. Oops, as you lift that up. My carnival pizza, let's try that out. It's a meat lover. This is a true meat lover's pizza with the fact that it's got the base, has pork rinds in it, as well as eggs, and um, I can't remember what else. But anyway, it's got eggs, pork rind, and cheese in the base and you know that's 100% carnivore and then you've seen how I made the topping let's have a quick go with this oh that is fantastic oh I'm going to look forward to this okay so that's how that's how you make a carnivore pizza I said I'll leave the link for up here for the how I cook the base and the topping is just awesome okay guys if you like this video please consider smashing the like button as well as subscribing also hit the bell icon so you can get notified when we upload more videos hey while you're at it why not consider sharing and also leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of this pizza okay right, guys thank you so much for watching and bye for now